we need to understand the difference between a strategy right and then once we all agree this is the strategy this is a part of the vision this is how we get to the vision yeah how we then plan to fit the strategy yeah. well strategy really is about how we're going to win yeah you know let's say that you're in a business and there's several businesses in your area that are like yours okay in other words they're, they're in the same business You've got to have some way that you're going to beat them. Mm -hmm. And there's a lot of different ways. You might beat them on price. Let's say price is your strategy. We're going to win on price. All right? Then how, what's our plan to do that? Well, then we got to start to figure out what steps do I need to take to make sure I can get the cost down and delivered better than somebody else. Let's say your strategy is you are going to beat everybody else because you have bigger brand recognition. Then you better have a really good plan to make that brand the only one that people know about. So one is how I'm going to win. But the other one is how I'm going to make that strategy unfold and be able to execute it. Yeah. Uh, I love to do this. And I, I mean, mean I, I, I can say I got a... We're gonna. We look at this other team. We can beat them in the air. They're too strong in the defense on the ground. That's right. We can beat them in the air. Great. Let's beat them in the air. Well, you better have some good plays you're gonna run. That's exactly right. That's exactly right. And know which one to run when. Right. Well, let's take Chick Fil A. You you know Dan, the CEO. You know that company well. Here they come into the fast food you know, or the quick service business that they call it now. And they're taking on giants like McDonald's and Burger King and all these kind of things. And they're also and doing killing chicken. killing a lot of them, yeah. Yeah, only operating six days a week. But you know their culture well. You know, it's like, I mean, they, they had a strategy. Okay, we want to sell chicken and we want to, you know, compete out there. Well, then they had to come up with a plan on how they were going to differentiate themselves. And I would say well, I that they chose service. Well, I wouldn't say sell, sell chicken as, as a strategy. That's the business they were in? Oh, yeah, yeah. It's really not in the business they're in. The right. business they're in is about serving those people. Right. But they chose customer service, I think, as their Yeah, it's one of their pillars. That's one right? of their pillars. And so it's the experience. So they came up with a plan. Right. So now everybody knows that when you say thank you, I don't care what store you're in. My pleasure. Where you're at. It's institutionalized. That's right. That's just one small example. But isn't that a part of a plan? They said, okay, this is how we're going to treat people, and this is what it's going to be like when they come in and eat. Right, and part of that plan is how are you going to train all those people to do that? You right. know? So you got to – there's a lot of execution, that, but you want to keep it simple. Yes. You know, another example you hear a lot um, in leadership circles is like when, when Southwest Airlines first started. You know, their, their strategy was we're going to democratize – Air travel because right. it was expensive and all this kind of stuff, and so they they had this these three pillars: lowest price, on time, customer loyalty. That's how we're going to beat everybody else. Yep. If we can do those three things, yep. and everybody throughout the company, you, you know, you, you go to a gate agent and you you run. It's so different than any other airline. You you run run to the gate agent and say, "Hey, I'm here early. My flight's in an hour. Can I get on this one?" The gate agent looks at your ticket, says, yeah, hop on. Now, how did they make that decision? They didn't get on the phone and start calling, oh, what kind of ticket, who, how much, what was the price? Let me, you know, call eight supervisors. They asked three questions. Well, it's not going to hold us up. We got a second. We can get them on the plane on time. It's not going to cost anymore. They've already got, you know, it's not going to cost to put them on the seat. And third thing is, it's going to create great customer loyalty. Yep, they checked the, the three boxes. I said. Yeah, that's I exactly think those, it. Yeah, absolutely. So check the boxes. Decision made. The decision was made much earlier. It's a strategic decision at every level. Yeah, yeah, boy, that's really good. I want to ask you about measurement. Do do we tend to as leaders measure the wrong things? <laughs> I was going to ask that. And do we make it too complex? Way too complex, and often the wrong things. All right. So break those down. Give us some right. examples. The most common thing when people, some people don't measure anything. Well, there's that. <laughs> That's right? so true. They just, let's go work. Let's go make it happen. Let's, and right. kind of at the end, they well, go, wait, hey. wait, wait, wait a second, Henry. I, I look at the balance sheet at the end of the month. That's not what you're talking about. Here's the problem. <laughs> that, that's like a football team. Back to football. That's like, yeah, you guys do, do measurement? Yeah. How do you do it? 
Well, at the end of the game, we look up the scoreboard. Mm-hmm. Yes. See, a lot of people measure against their goals. Yes. Of course you have to measure against a goal. But that's not right. how you reach the goal. Right. You reach the goal by measuring the activities and the behaviors, mm-hmm. the tasks that drive that needle. That's right. You know, in literature, it's referred to as the difference between the lagging indicators and the leading indicators. So take a simple example. Um, you want to lose 50 pounds, all right? A lot of people have a goal, so they're going to they keep looking at the scales. Am I losing weight? And that's what they measure. Well, that's way too late. Yep. But if you have some key things to measure, like I know if I'm taking my 45-minute walk every day, that's right. if I'm hitting this calorie count and this diet thing every day, yeah. if I'm if Reducing I'm calling, sugar. if I'm yeah, if I maybe I'm calling the person that supports me, yep. and you know if I'm doing those three things every day mm. and I'm measuring those and I'm checking them off, yeah. that scale is going to look way different. That's right. So we have to measure yep. the things that drive the needle. Mm. That's the main thing. Yeah.